everybody. Um, last time in our video, we learned about a new type of inheritance called codominance. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to fill in the Punnett squares for those types of inheritance. Um, you guys should have a worksheet that was posted called codominance, and it's going to talk about chickens and cows. We talked a little bit about the cows already. We talked about some chickens. Um, I got some people to help me. Say hi. Hi. Tell everybody what your name is. Anderson Peter Watts. Okay. And we got another helper. What's your name? Um, what? <laughs> Marielle Ross. Yes. And these two um, young scientists are going to help me today as we learn about code dominance. So, you guys ready? We know what a pedigree, or sorry, a Punnett square is. It's a square <laughs> that looks like this, and you got to let everybody see what it is so it can't get in the way. Okay, guys? So, in normal inheritance, we had capital letters and lowercase letters, right? Yeah, I know, yeah. like, like most <sighs> of my letters. You do? Okay, what's this letter, Anderson? B. I, I, Wait, is it a capital or lowercase? Um, capital. Okay, what about I, this one? Um, D. No, pretty close. B. Yeah, what kind? Capital or lowercase? Lowercase. Very good. All right, I, now, hi, two more questions. What about these two? What are these? Um. Are they capitals or lowercases? Lowercases. Are they Bs or Ds? Um. Bees. No, I'll try again. Bees. Good job. Not even in kindergarten yet. I know oh. all of my letters. Oh, thanks for sharing with us. All right, so <laughs> in normal inheritance, this is what we've done in the past, and they've been dominant and recessive. So this big one, Anderson, look up here. <laughs> this one's dominant, and it covers up everything that these ones do. So everybody, if this was, like, say, black, and this was white, okay? The black covers up the white, all right? So, Anderson, the black covers up the white, right? Yeah. So, if we have a black and a white, what color is it going to be? Hmm. Black. <gasps> Good job, Muriel. What yeah. did she Yeah, black. Good job. Now, if they have two white alleles like this, what color is it going to be? Black. I'm white. It's going to be white. Anderson was right this time, okay? Yeah. So... We have a little bit of a different thing going on, though, when it comes to codominance. So, with codominance, we don't just have one dominant allele that covers up the other. They both can show up, all right? Yeah. So, instead of having a capital B and a lowercase b, we have a capital B and a capital W. Uh, this one stands for black, and this one stands for white. And so, this one would be black and white at However, the same time. Um, hey, we should take a look at some other examples because sometimes you don't just have one trait or the other. Sometimes you have both at one Truth. time. All right, let's um, keep This going. is actually called codominance. So when you looked at the it cow at the beginning of this video so or this particular big w, big w. Um, now when antelope, we cross these, they actually have multiple colors big at the w, same time. W. So and this one actually has black and also has that orangey red color. That's typically how we do it. These are both showing up at the same time. So neither one of these is recessive. So now the next thing that we have to do, once we've filled it out, is we have to determine what these individuals will look like what based did, on their genotypes. That's it on my lap, kiddo. What right. if you did your scribble writing? You my just, scribble writing? Yeah, you just did. Mm, 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 my students mm, think mm. I scribble already, so we don't have to redo that. Okay, you ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. And for those of us who are out of context, and if you're watching this at a later date... This is the year of COVID-19, and everybody's at home, hence my children helping me, okay? So, when we look at this, these two have a black and a white allele, and they both show up. So, Anderson, would they be black, white, or black and white? Um, white. No, not these ones, because they have a black and a white allele. So what would they look like? Um, black and white. Black and white. Very black good. Black and right. white. Good job. Chiming in late. All right. This one and this one, they have a white and a white allele. So what color are they going to be? Black. Black. 
No. White, white. White. There we go. Can I have a question? Why yes. do you have these other markers? So I can color. Light. All right. Oh. So let's watch. <laughs> Since we got other markers and somebody pointed that out. Oh, this is not showing up very well, is it? Okay. Well, that's not showing up very well. Yeah, Those two individuals, though, that I just circled. Yeah, that's Those, a good choice. Thanks. All right. Those two will be black and white, but these two will be white oh. only, okay? So the question is, did they, the black and white individual, the heterozygous individual, and then the homozygous white individual, were they able to make any purely black babies for themselves? No. Yeah. Marielle says no. Anderson says yeah. Let's see who's right. These ones, again, were black and white. So are those pure black? Oh. Or, no, they're not. And these ones are white. So are those black? No. Nope. So did we make any that were just black? No. Nope. So no. this daddy and this mommy cannot make any offspring that are just pure black. But let's do another one. Yeah, that's a good plan. I can't wait. Awesome. This one has a black and a white allele. This one has a black and a white allele. Let's fill them in. What's this letter, buddy? B. And what's this? B. So they go into this box right here. So yeah. we got BB, right? Yeah. That's black and black. What color is this one going to be? Um, Black. Good. This one, this this letter right this here. This one is white. Uh, white. Is and what's white. this letter? The, um, W. Yeah, and you said it was white, right? Yeah. So if we bring those down here, bum, 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 that will be big W, big W. That's a white allele and a white allele. What color is this one going to be? White. White. Okay. And then if we go in this box, this B would go here and this W goes here. Anderson w? just told me yeah. W says what as in white. Yeah, and B says but as in black. Very right. <laughs> All right, and then this one would also be BW. Now, oh. Anderson, this is the hardest question. This one has a black and a white allele. This one has a black and a white allele. What color are they going to end up? Are they going to be black, white, or black and white? Black and white. Black and white. You guys are both right. All right. Yeah, that was black. And oh, Daddy! White. Oh, Daddy! I get it. You you chose W to be white because the H says because W says white as in white and B says black as in black. That's right. It. That's exactly right. Boy knows his letters, or at least he's getting to. All right. So oh, when you yeah. fill out the um, Punnett squares for code dominance, that's some of the stuff you're going to look at. So you guys will be able to determine what its genotype is and what its phenotype is. Because remember, this time, there's three genotypes and three phenotypes. When we did the old way of inheritance, Mendelian, sometimes, you know, with the dominant phenotype, you actually have two genotypes that go with that. So this one's probably going to be a little bit easier in some respects. Um, we're going to take a look at one of the problems in your homework, and then we will complete that. All right, so on your homework, you have this uh, example right here. We're going to do number one together. Um, in shorthorn cattle, color shows incomplete dominance. That should actually say co-dominance. Forget the incomplete dominance. It should say co-dominance. A red cow has the genotype big R, big R. A white cow has the genotype big W, big W. And heterozygous cattle are called roan. They have red and white spots. And that's what you saw at the very beginning of this video. And those ones have the genotype big R, big W. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross a red bull with a roan cow. You're going to make sure you do your Punnett square. And you can just do these on a scrap sheet of paper if you don't have this paper in front of you. Um, and then you're going to write what percent of their offspring will be red, what percent will be roan, which again is red and white. Those are the heterozygous individuals. And what percent will be white? All right, so for the Red Bull Roan Cow Cross, now make your Punnett square. The Red Bull, the only way to be pure red is to have two red alleles. So that one's going to be big R, big R. To be Roan, remember you have one red allele and one white allele. 
All right, so when we fill this out, big R, big R's across the top there. Or depending on if you did yours, it might be on the side. Just You can flip the parents around. Remember, you just have to have one parent who's red and white, one parent who's red and red. And then when you fill in the other boxes, they're going to be red and white, okay? When we look at this, these two individuals will be what color? They've only got red alleles, so red. These ones are going to be what color? They've got a red and a white, so they're going to be red and white together. The roan, okay? So 50% will be red, 50% roan, okay? Lastly, sad 0% white, okay? All right, so attempt to the rest of these problems. Um, email if you have questions, and we'll see you soon.